If you want a tip on when to get satisfied, when's enough enough, dude, enough enough is when you say it's enough. That doesn't inspire you? Uh, guess what? Nothing will. Look, if you like sharing with people and inspiring people, and if you like teaching or sharing information that's worked for you, then make sure you comment. That's all I do with this channel. So anything I learned that works, I'm gonna share it with you. Anything I learned that doesn't work, I promise you I'm gonna tell you, I've made so many mistakes in my career. And if I can help one person not make those mistakes or one person do something different that would accelerate the pace or speed at which you go at success, uh, I was playing backgammon with my friend Brandon last night. Brandon's a partner with me at Cardone Ventures. We started this company five years ago. He and I played a lot of backgammon together, okay? I mean, I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh, and I taught him the game. He, 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 he knew the basics of the game, but I, but I, you know, I've been teaching him other plays in the game. And when I see him make a bad move, I can't help myself. We're playing for money, by the way. Uh, you know, fairly, fairly substantial sums of money. And when I see him make a bad move, I cannot help but tell him, bro, bro, don't, that's the wrong move. Now, I don't tell him while he's moving, but I do tell him later at the, when the game's over, hey, can you change these things? Because the better he gets, the better I get. So my point is, um, shit, man, if you guys can learn from other people what not to do and then what to do, you're going to speed everything up. But look, if you just like the view, man, just keep enjoying the view because it ain't bad either. And again, the reason I share this with you is because I've been fortunate enough, fortunate enough to get it. I mean, I, 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 I never, I'm so humbled every morning I come out here. I'm on somebody's jet ski. I'm like, I never had a jet ski when I was a kid. I, we didn't have any toys. I had a used car, it was $500 used car. That was my first car, $500, 1966 Mustang. If I wouldn't have totaled it, it'd be worth something today. So uh, I am so humbled and so inspired all in the same second. I shouldn't be here, I shouldn't even be alive. 25 years old, I was pretty much counted as a dead, walking dead, done, loser, black sheep of my family at 25 years old. Uh, 20, I, I didn't think I'd live till I was 21. 21, I didn't think I'd live until I was 23. And I was shocked that I was still alive at 25. And today I can even look back and say, dude, I could be dead, easily dead. I had three of my friends that died uh, before they were 25 years old. I was hanging with these dudes. And for me to be on a jet ski, unbelievable. For me to be anywhere, unbelievable. For me to be in the south of France for two weeks, it's, it's like a miracle. Uh, to, for me to be on a yacht in the south of France for two weeks, uh, if, if, if I didn't wasn't living this myself, I wouldn't even believe it. Uh, me doing this three summers in a row now, having a wife, two kids, great health right now. I'm in a great, probably the best health of my life. Um, shit, bro, I'm blessed. I got it. Okay, now I'm not satisfied. Don't be confused. I'm definitely not satisfied. I, I, I definitely want to do better than I'm doing right now because I know I can. Because I see these other guys doing better than I'm doing. At least they're doing better in some areas. I don't know if they're doing it better in all areas, but that doesn't matter. I don't look at what they're not doing well at. I look at what they are doing well at and how could I pick that up a little notch. So look, if you want a tip on when to get satisfied, when's enough enough, dude, enough enough is when you say it's enough.